Hey guys, how's it going? This is Anthony again, and this time I'm reviewing the new Playmates Classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Michelangelo. Same exact base body as Donatello, minus the head. So, not too much to be surprised about here. He stands about six and three quarters inches tall. I said Donatello was about seven on the base, that was a mistake. They're about six and three quarters when they're on the base. They all have their own base. Off the base, he stands about six and a half. I said the wrong thing for Donatello. Either way, same base body. He only has the belt that goes around his waist, nothing over the shoulder. His does have the nunchuck holsters on the back. And as you can see, he comes with nunchucks. They are orange like his bandana, and they have metal chain. So that's definitely a nice touch. They plug into his belt very nicely. No problems there. Overall, these are really thought out and really well done action figures. They must have cost a fortune to make since you can't really use these molds again. So I'm very happy to have them. And I think at the $17 price point, it's well worth it. As far as articulation goes, the head is on an old school ball joint. Shoulders are on ball discs with a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. There's a wrist rotation and a wrist pivot. Wrist pivot's really tight, but it is there. The thumb has a swivel and a hinge. Each finger is hinged individually. They hold the accessories just fine. As you can see, the hand is kind of hollowed out in one spot for them to hold it, and then the thumb holds it on even better. The top half of the torso is independent from the bottom half. The shell is connected to the top to keep a nice fluid look. Plenty of articulation side to side, front to back rotation, really anything you're going to need. The hips are on old school ball joints, so plenty of range of motion there. And then there's a thigh swivel also. I don't think you really need them both the way they have it set up, but you do. So can't really complain. It doesn't look bad, so it's fine. Double jointed knees, single jointed ankle. There's an ankle swivel in there, no pivot or rocker. And then each toe is hinged individually. So we got a great amount of articulation, some nice accessories. Paint job's no problem on mine. The eyes could be a little bit better, but that's an easy fix. And everything else looks good. So I really can't complain. They're all just absolutely great figures, and I highly, 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 highly recommend them. To close out this video, I'm going to get a quick group shot, like I did for Donatello. And so you can see how they all look. In comparison, if you didn't see the Donatello review, go check it out. If you did, then too bad, you get to see a group shot again. Who complains about too many turtles though? As you can see, they all have their own individual colors for their skin, so that's a nice touch. Of course, their bandanas all match the TV show. And they're all great figures, so check out the reviews for all these other guys and some other stuff in the near future. And in the meantime, keep collecting.